the ferryman until he gets you to the other side. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budget. On this episode, we visit the ancient city of Butrint in southern Albania. Wedged between the Albanian coastal mountains and the Ionian Sea, the port city of Butrint offered a gateway to the Mediterranean and the ancient civilizations that surrounded that important waterway. Ticket office serves also as a lost and found. And good to see that uh, the Butrint National Park has a sense of humor. I can't wait until they see the video. Wonderfully forested area at the entrance to Butrint. I now know where to look in case I want to see Albanian koala bears. <laughs> who's uh who's the lucky one getting married? Yeah. Uh, who's getting married? Oh. Oh, back there also. Oh, yeah, so this yeah, is the yeah, uh, this yeah, is the uh, the bride yeah, and the groom yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Butrint dates back to the eighth century BC and has been held by many ancient civilizations. The last of which were the Venetians. The theater at Butrint was constructed in the third century in the classic Roman style. Back to the bridal party. And uh, let's see, uh, let's see what the cheap seats offer at the uh, Butrint Theater. Uh, a little bit farther, I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the seats are pretty good, even if uh, even if I paid uh, a discounted rate. Even uh, even if my ticket is a nosebleed, I'm sure the sight lines from up top will be terrific. Back to the bridal party. This uh, this isn't a bad seat from up top in the Butrin Theater. I get the seat behind the tree. Perhaps uh, perhaps this wasn't an obstruction 1,500 years ago. Across the canal from Butrint is the Venetian Triangle Castle. I don't know why they constructed it as a triangle. However, I'm sure for architectural features, a triangle castle would be different. I don't know if the triangle castle had a jail, but if it did, the crime most often committed would have been public intoxication. The Venetian canon's perspective overlooking the canal protecting the city of Butrint. In the distance, at the mouth of the canal, that's the open waterway to get to Corfu, Greece, and then after that, the Ionian and Mediterranean seas. You know, there is something to be said about having weddings outside of the summer season. Oh, it's warm outside. This security guard has taken up the right post when overlooking the castle at Butrint. Given the last shot by the cannon, it's gotten kind of warm, so I'm gonna join the security guard for a few minutes in the shade atop the castle in Butrint. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's the temperature outside? 40. 40, yeah, uh, it feels 40. <laughs> the site of Butrint's gymnasium, it was later turned into a pagan shrine and then a church. That's what you call a multi-use facility. I believe I'm starting to get a hang of this archaeological stuff. I think that is a mosaic of a Jesus figurehead. Getting this close to a frog, I certainly hope there's nothing in the pond that's big enough to eat him and perhaps bother me. The trails through Butrint are easily navigable. 
at the south end of the ancient port city is the Great Basilica, constructed in the 6th century. Still remaining 1500 years after its construction is the Basilica's mosaic floor. I like how it's only protected by this wooden plank and allowing visitors access if they so choose to actually touch the mosaic. Out of respect, let's not touch the mosaic. From atop the castle in the ancient city of Butrint, along the coast of southern Albania, this has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next edition. Cheesy pop.